Hey guys, so here we are under the uh, Honda CRV, and as you can see, you got the front prop shaft comes out of the uh, front end of the engine eh, transfer, and then we run down to the rear of the prop shaft, and as you can see, that is the differential. Looks a little bit different, runs different oil, doesn't run the conventional heavy duty oil that you find in most traditional diffs. Uh, there's one of the prop, sh uh, sorry, uh, drive shafts running to the, in this case, it's the right right wheel. Um, so yeah, so that's what it looks like. Now inside this diff housing, um, it'll consist of obviously the gearing, the ring gears and so on, but she'll have two pumps. There's a front pump and a rear pump and proportionally valving. And um, obviously the, the special fluid, this fluid, is really special fluid and is uh, only um, basically made by two people uh, here in Australia. I think you find it uh, made by Penrite and obviously the original OEM uh, Honda fluid. Uh, looks like um, sort of like uh, what do they call the um, automatic transmission fluid? Um, so it's very specific. Cannot use anything else. Um, so yeah, so that's what it looks like, and now we'll get into the uh, description of how it works. Okay guys, uh, welcome back. So basically, um, how does this uh, Honda real-time system work? So, as I said, uh, it has uh, a pump, it's got a front pump, it's got a rear pump, um, it's got some clutch packs, and um, essentially, the oil between the front pump and the rear pump, once that combines, it actually uh, creates torque and holds the clutch packs and grips that and obviously the rear wheels start driving. So in normal operation, it's a front wheel drive car, um, but as soon as these wheels start spinning, um, that front pump actually starts detecting that spin through the prop shaft and obviously opens up a valve that's encased inside the actual rear differential. Now, once that valve opens up, obviously it starts um, allowing fluid to flow to the rear pump. And once those two pumps combine, that's where you actually get the torque um, to apply to the clutch packs that's actually inside the rear differential. So the whole thing is encased in that rear differential that you saw before. So the more torque that is applied through these front wheels and obviously through the prop shaft, the more torque that is applied um, into the uh, into the rear wheels. Now there's no locking button um, like a you know a lock button that is common on some of the early all-wheel drive systems. This is a seamless system. It cuts in and cuts out whenever it wants to. Um, obviously, uh, if you take off pretty quickly, um, it'll be an all-wheel drive system. So if I'm sitting at the lights and I floor it, the whole thing just seamlessly, and you don't even know it. It, it it's it's it takes off in four-wheel drive. Um, so if I want sand, if in mud, whatever, yeah, it'll do that. Um, reversing, it'll do exactly the same thing. So it works in reverse too. Um, it'll disengage as soon as I touch the brakes. Um, that's obviously to activate the ABS and make sh making sure that the brakes work work correctly. So as soon as I touch, uh, as soon as I touch the brakes, yeah, the all-wheel drive system just disengages and um, runs as a two-wheel drive, front-wheel drive and um, yeah, ABS starts working. So essentially that's that's how it works. Um, it's a pretty seamless system. Um, I've seen it work pretty good. Uh, it does grip. Um, uh, we had it up in uh, Gordon Country uh, a couple of months back and um, I was doing some tests with it and yeah, it grips pretty quickly. I was actually, you know, pretty impressed. I was a little bit skeptical, but um, yeah, it, you know, for what it is, it's, it's an all-wheel drive car. Um, it's it's actually okay. It's it's underrated. So um, yeah, so that's how it works, guys. So anyway, just a very quick uh, spiel on the uh, all-wheel drive system. Thank you.